There are only two ice sheets in the whole world, one in Antarctica and the other in Greenland. 85% of Greenland is covered by the ice sheet. British Columbia has very different landscapes, from temperate rainforests to ice fields to the Rocky Mountains, in which I will be talking about. The Rocky Mountains cover a vast range from northern BC to New Mexico in the US, which is about 3,000 miles long. Some sources even claim that some mountains in the Yukon and Alaska are a part of the Rockies, making this mountain range even longer. The Badlands of Canada are found in multiple places in the prairies. The Badlands in Canada are known for their unique appearance and difficult terrain. Outlaws often made their hideouts in and among the Hoodoo Rocks and the deep winding ravines. Temperate rainforests are not like tropical rainforests. Temperate rainforest temperatures stay between 0 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, warm and cool. The Kingfisher Interpretive Center is in an interior cedar hemlock temperate rainforest. Because it's an interior temperate rainforest, it is a little cooler than normal, and is the only interior temperate rainforest that gets snow. It is over 100 kilometers away from the ocean. The continent of North America is home to the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes include Lake Huron, Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, and Lake Superior. The largest of the lakes is Lake Superior. It is the largest body of fresh water in the whole world. It's about 160 miles wide, 350 miles long, and has a surface area of 31,700 square miles. Lake Superior holds 2,900 cubic miles of water with its deepest point being 1,300 feet below the surface. Off the coast of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia is the Bay of Fundy. The Bay of Fundy includes Hopewell Rocks, a tourist destination in New Brunswick where you can experience the amazing tide. At high tide, the water can be as high as 50 feet, which is the highest tide in the whole world. Alaska has the tallest mountain in North America, Mount Denali, which is 20,306 feet tall. Alaska also has the lowest point in North America in the Aleutian Trench at 25,000 feet below sea level. Mount Sheldon is an active volcano and is 6,500 feet tall and is covered by a glacier. The last major eruption of Mount Sheldon was in 1999, with small earthquakes happening every few minutes. The Grand Canyon is found in Arizona. Although it is not the deepest or longest, it is larger than Rhode Island, with Rhode Island being 1,212 square miles, and the Grand Canyon being 1,904 square miles. The Grand Canyon is 277 miles long, about a mile deep, and in some places 18 miles wide. The most dangerous animal at the Grand Canyon Parks is surprisingly the rock squirrel. It's dangerous because if you try to feed it, it might bite you in the process of taking the food, and it might have rabies or the plague. There are an estimated 1,000 caves on the Grand Canyon walls, 335 of which have been recorded, and only one that is open to the public. The Catskill Mountains are located in New York. They are famous for their hiking trails, amazing views, and ski hills. There are waterfalls, many lakes, and rivers to find and explore among the Catskills' 98 peaks. The Catskills provide clean water to over 9 million people. Lots of wildlife make their homes in the Catskills. There are 60 species of fish, 80 species of birds, along with raccoons, deer, foxes, black bears, coyotes, and bobcats that live in the woods.
The Cave of Swallows, found in Mexico, is the largest cave shaft in the world and the second deepest cave in Mexico. The Cave of Swallows is about 1,500 feet deep and the floor is as big as three football fields. If you were to jump from the top to the bottom of the pit, which you should not do, it would take you about 12 seconds to reach the bottom. But to get back up takes 40 minutes to an hour. The swallows that live in the cave leave the cave at dawn, which takes them a half hour to get out, and return around dusk. The Zapata Swamp is located on the island of Cuba. It is the largest swamp in the Caribbean Sea, with 1,116,440 acres of wetland. Thousands of plant species create forests growing out of the swamp, providing habitats for animals. The islands in the Bahamas have a variety of different landscapes, limestone hills, expansive beaches, Caribbean pine forests found on some islands, hardwood forests dominating others. There are no rivers on the islands, but some of the larger islands have fairly large lakes. Some islands consist of low trees and shrubs. But the things that make these islands consistent tourist destinations are the pure white sand beaches and crystal clear water. The indigenous people of Honduras tell stories of a white house or Ciudad Blanca. It is described as a paradise where people went and were never seen again. Multiple expeditions were sent to find this Ciudad Blanca, but most of them ended with nothing. But it is recently believed they found the city or even a lost civilization. Using LiDAR, they found evidence of houses, public buildings, plazas, a pyramid, irrigation canals, and water reservoirs. Cerro Negro Volcano, which is located in northwestern Nicaragua, is one of the youngest volcanoes in the Americas. It formed in 1850 and is one of the most active volcanoes. The volcano is located in an area where there are few inhabitants and so it doesn't cause a lot of damage. A new sport has appeared at Cerro Negro Volcano, volcano boarding. Volcano boarding is basically sledding, extreme sledding. You can reach speeds of 40 to 60 miles an hour on the trip down the mountain. Nicaragua is known as the land of lakes. Lake Nicaragua includes creatures normally found in the ocean, such as sharks, swordfish, tarpon, and other creatures like caimans. Costa Rica has many landforms, such as the tropical dry forest found in the northwest. These regions receive the least amount of rain than anywhere else in Costa Rica. Dry tropical rainforests are unique because of their deciduous trees that drop their leaves in the winter dry season. Even though they receive abundant rain in the rainy season, these forests have an extended period of dry weather unlike most tropical rainforests. A mountain in the Bara Honda National Park was thought to be another volcano, but in the 1960s it was discovered that the mountain sits on top of a network of caves. This network has over 40 caves with one cave that has over 5,000 bats. Panama is an isthmus. An isthmus is a section of land that connects two large masses of land and divides two bodies of water. The Panama Canal is a lock type canal that is owned and administered by the Republic of Panama. Its purpose is to shorten the trips some boats would have to make, such as a ship going from the west side of the United States to the east side would have had to go all the way around South America. 
But now you can go through the Panama Canal and it would save you 8,000 nautical miles. The Panama Canal was widened for cruise ships and other much larger ships. It took five years before it was finished in 2016. I enjoyed learning about North America and its landforms and geography. I hope you did too.